Welcome to your African home, brought to you by Cecil Global, Africa's most trusted property marketplace. These properties are found in the beautiful mountains of Ebri and are located only 30 minutes away from the Kotoka International Airport, as well as five minutes away from the Ebri Botanical Gardens, Adom Waterfalls, and Papaye Gardens. You'll find 16 luxury homes in a secure gated community with green spaces, imported custom fittings, fireplaces, and a range of three to four bedroom homes. If you're looking for luxury, serenity, and quality, this is the property for you. Let's take a look inside. Nice, Laura. It's good to have you. It's good to see you again. I mean, we've been in touch for quite some time. So, everybody, I'm a big crew, and we are here to, you know, delve deep into what got into this project and basically the inception of it. So, can you just please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the project? So, I'm Larissa Thorpe, and um, I own this development project together with my husband and my daughter. So just a little family unit, you know, and the project began by us just sitting and talking one evening and by the fireplace, to be honest, and thinking, you know, what could we do with the four acres that we have in Ebu? You know, we'd like to spend more time in Ghana. You know, I'm half Ghanaian myself and it's always nice to be home. Home is home. You know, so we had this piece of land and we thought, right, let's go ahead and do something with it. We have, we have experience between ourselves, you know, of building, you know, my husband mainly in the African sector. He has a vast range of experience, you know, in building and most especially water and rehabilitation treatment, you know, all to British standards. And for me, I've built our own property, you know, where we live at the moment. So I've had experience of dealing with, with foremen, with different work, manship you know and ordering things and just having a keen eye for detail and for building you know i'm a very creative person naturally so you know where best to really inject and show my creativity was in my piece of land and doing something with it hence the belting residences um which is four acres of land and we have 16 houses only so everybody stands on a vast portion you know, of the land. My whole idea was using the environment and the topography of the land to design the building. So you'll notice from our buildings, it's very up, down, up, down, you know, a couple of stairs up, a couple of steps down, you know, nothing is just um, boring. The roof lines are very interesting. You know, I just wanted to bring something very different, you know, to the real estate development. And not just the norm, you know, I see a lot of houses that are flat roofs, you know, no disrespect to them, that's their style. So I wanted something very different. Another thing that I like personally is I like space. I like space, I like semi-open plan, and I also just like fresh air, peace and quiet. 
and this offers me all of that. That's great. That, that's good to hear. I mean, the overview alone is, is something that gives a painter a very good picture in the minds of people. And, you know, that's one thing that I believe that our brothers and our family on, on, on this channel are looking for. So basically, I mean, what are some of the amenities that comes with the project? So I'll talk about a typical three-bedroom house. You know, we're very open to customization as long as the requests come in early. So all rooms are very spacious and what you have is an indoor-outdoor feel. So we've got very open windows, you know, very wide windows and French doors. You know, every house has at least three French doors. One can change to bifold if one wants at an extra cost. Um, what you also get is you get uh, double glazed windows, toughened glass. Um, you get UPVC imported frames. You also have solid American oak front doors. Um, you have a water filtered a filtration system and a borehole. So every house has its own individual borehole. The water then goes through a filtration system which uses an, an UV to sort you know, all the minerals out and then that then comes into the house. So the, tap, the water that you get from your taps is good quality drinking water if one you know, wanted to use that as such. Um, also, you get spotlights everywhere, you get nice down lights, you get a choice of either chrome or brass fittings throughout and every thing, all your fixtures, your fittings, you know, your things like your bathrooms, your taps, your kitchens, your wardrobes, everything is imported. The only thing that I source in Ghana is the cement, the sand, the water, and the iron rods. Everything else is imported. And it's a shame that I've had to do that. But I've had a lot of disappointment, you know, trying to source things here. Not just with the time factor, the promise and fail aspect, but also with quality, you know. So, uh, you know, I've just gone to where I know that I can rely on my quality. Even the paint is imported. Mm -hmm. You know, I did try to buy paint in Ghana from good, a good source, you know. But when the painters have used the paint, they've told me that there's a clear difference between the ones that are brought from the UK and the ones that are bought here. And another thing, surprisingly, is it's cheaper for me to buy the paint in England, ship it, clear it, deliver to site, than it is for me to buy in Ghana. Wow. You, know? <laughs> That's you also get 360 degrees of garden. So I'm all about green spaces. You don't just get, you don't get pavement, 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 concrete, 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 none of that. You have lush green landscaped gardens. You have verandas. You have a fireplace, because in Greece sometimes can get quite chilly. So you've got a fireplace in each house just to take the edge off. And what we don't do is we don't supply the air conditioners, but we do provide the ports for the air conditioners. And if you want us to supply them, we can do that. So, for example, the house we're sitting in at the moment, they have um, sort of a semi-cooling system, so their conditions are all installed in the ceiling. I know some people prefer the ones that are wall mounted, so it's down to preferential choice. And every house also has an external um, utility room, so that's for your washing machine, a bit of an outdoor kitchen, you know, you've got a sink in there, minus the cooker. Mm -hmm. you know. and if you want a boys' quarters, the land is big enough to take a boys' quarters for each house, but that's at an extra charge. And also, if you'd like a little dipping pool or even a swimming pool or a hot tub, the land also has enough provision for everybody to have that. Again, that's an additional cost. So there are a lot of extras that people can also add to their development. But basically, you get a very high standard three-bedroom property, very spacious. They, they are also four bedrooms. I'm just focusing on the three. Exactly. That was what I was about to ask, but I mean, it's good you've clarified that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we, we have a very bespoke four bedroom on the property at the moment. We've got a three bedroom property that's been extended. So the client there has extended 
the kitchen to host an island, has added a study and has added a, an extra veranda and enlarged the master bedroom and the bathroom. So these are options that people can also include as well. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention as well is that the roofing tiles as well, sorry, the roofing sheets, the standard is aluminium long span. So that's another thing that I source in Ghana, you know. However, I can also source UK tiles, roofing tiles for clients. So the next one I'm just about to do is having UK imported roofing tiles. So there's nothing that we can't do. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I like the fact that it's like you walk the client through the whole process and you literally build with them because, I mean, once they decide to add on or remove certain things, you're always available to, I mean, have them have that bespoke unit. But typically, people like to build or live in places that are varies based on their needs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, once you are able to incorporate that aspect to you know, add features that they'll be willing to add on to their desirable home or to take off some things. I mean, it looks like you're open to adding all those changes. And I mean, that, that that's very good to know. The way I look at it is that this is your home. And if it is your home, you need to be happy in it. You know, and there's nothing worse for me as a developer uh, giving you a property that you're not happy with and that you'll be complaining. I would be living on this development. I don't want anyone knocking at my door at 11 o'clock yeah, at night yeah, yeah. and telling me A, B, and C, you know. I have a very, very keen attention to detail. You've been around the property and you've seen it yourself, exactly. you know. And if I'm not happy with something, it will be redone. You know, it's got to be perfect. You know, there's no second class with this development. There is no compromise. It's high standards all the way through. You know, the way I live abroad, the quality of the finishing, and everything else out there is exactly what I expect in my homes in Ghana. You know, I wouldn't want you to move in here with the plumbing issue or the silicon is peeling or this isn't straight and the rest, nothing. I walk around here with my own spirit level and I check the level of the floors and everything that needs leveling. You know, I, w I am here to sort that out. And if I'm not available, then key things will not be installed. You know, I'll hold that off until I'm next around. That's yeah. good to know. That's good to know. That, that's amazing. <coughs> I mean, people like to know that a developer is this hands-on with a project. And I mean, the way you are hands-on and the way you keep going and coming and making sure everything is the way it should be, I think it's it's an admirable quality. I have to, I have to give you that. So, I mean, what type of appreciation can one expect from uh, investing in a property in this area? Well, as you know, Ibri is now hot cake. The way I describe Ibri is it's just like driving into the Hollywood Hills in Africa, you know, and someone who actually lives in Ibri described it to me as Little London. Mm -hmm. And that is because of the weather that we have here. This weather is second to none. You know, you have enough of the heat and you have enough of the cool as well. You know, it's not chilly, chilly. It's just enough cool. You know, you get fog sometimes in the morning, you get some mist sometimes in the evening. Now, last time I was here, August, there was fog around 6.30 in the evening, wow. you know, and it just looked stunning. So, Ebri is really the best climate to offer you best of both worlds. You know, it's peaceful, it's quiet. All you hear is birds chirping and the noise of the nature. You know, the views are amazing. You're not far from Accra. If you need to get into town, it's no big hassle. Where we have quite a few good shops now coming up. You know, the Shell petrol station nearby. Maybe this is an advert for them. <laughs> you know, but there are a lot of sources there, you know, a lot of supplies there that I know the, the owner has brought in from abroad. So if you want things that are, you know, just immediate things, there's everything there that you need. And I'm told down at the foothills around Oyarifa area, there's a mall there already. And East mm -hmm. Ligon isn't far. I've been into Melcombe and East Ligon. You have everything, imported and local. Fresh produce, if you're somebody for organic food, we've got fruit stalls not far from here where you can get all your fresh vegetables, all your fresh fruits, the mangoes, the pineapples, the avocados. Everything is just 
walking distance from from sight. Mm. So it, it, there's a lot. And for me personally, I don't like the pollution of a crowd. I don't like all the noise. You know, somebody that likes the peace and quiet. And I like not to be too far from a bit of social life if I want that. So if I want to be in a craft for a bit of nightlife or things like that, or a fancy dinner, I'm not far away. There's also a nice hotel nearby. You know, it's always full. You've got live music there. So you've got a social scene there as well if you want just a bit of a change. And the kind of clients that I buy in at the moment are people maybe I've described a bit like me. You know, they do want this. They don't want the high rises. And they've told me that personally. You know, they want peace. They want quiet. They want tranquility. They want to be able to sit outside and have a nice cup of tea, you know, and just look at the world, you know, go by, so to speak. You know, so in terms of value for money, this is a good deal here. The plot sizes are big. Most of our plots are over 7,000 square feet. Now, that's yeah. what I understand as being Ghana's standard plot size. We only have two that are below. But all the others are seven, just over 7,000, 7,475. We have eight, eight, five, nine. We have a house now on 11,500. So if people even just want to club two pieces of land, I'm willing to negotiate on that as well and lose one house. You know, somebody would like a big, you know, piece of garden. So appreciation, Ibri has a lot to offer. Papaya Gardens just down the road. You know, there, there's a waterfall not far from here. There's the Ibri Botanical Gardens. Uh, there's a straight road through here, through Ikuapim, I guess, that takes you to Akutumbo. But these are places I need to explore mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. You know, and then you've got lovely Royal St. Chilva there, you know, if you wanted a change of scenery. There's also um, the Aqua Safari. They, I think they've got something here as well. I know people have been visiting. I think there's a golf course coming up as well, an annual golf course. So there's a lot in it. I don't think I need to expand even more than that. Exactly. So value for money, appreciation, buying early, you've got a good deal. You know, it's it's hot cake. That's I think true. I mean you're in in it itself, you know, the buying is the selling. So you'll know, you know, is this the in and coming place? I can I can attest to that I mean Ibri is sort of the perfect place to be when you're trying to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city. I mean, and right now there's a lot of fast development coming up in the area, so most definitely, I mean, once you're able to buy it early, you're definitely getting a good deal. And uh, it's also what I have noticed, you know, being in the market is most of, I mean, our diaspora family are looking, when they are looking for a second home, I mean, Ibri is usually the, 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 the best place. I mean, people that are looking to repatriate is a, is a good location for them. You know, just that whole serenity and, you know, the breathtaking views. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the air over here is even a lot more fresher. I mean, I can't attest to that. So You get better sleep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> high, you, the altitudes affect sleep. <laughs> and you definitely get that here. That's true. That's true. That's so state. if you're thinking of a healthy lifestyle and you're one that really is looking for that, then this is the perfect thing. That's true. But so, what would you have to say about the real estate market in Ghana? Well, from what I'm seeing and noticing and hearing, you know, it's still on the rise. You know, Ghana is a great country. You know, and I'm just, I just feel so blessed to be Ghanaian. I can't tell you the feeling I get when the airplane is landing. You know, and when I leave, and this is the honest truth, I go and see my dad. You know, that's the last place, you know, I go to on my way to the airport. And I get to the airport and I'm in tears, you know. I'm always sad to leave. You know, I really need to be in Ghana more. And this is my aim, to be here more, you know. So Ghana, if you look at our political stance, you know, we're always in a great position. We have that political stability. We're friendly people. You know, we're a very kind nation. Everyone will talk to you. The social life is great. And I also feel that, you know, for me, that is in that next 50 
years and above, yeah. you know, as you're growing, you need that conversation. And you always have that around you in Ghana, you know. Yes, there are moments that maybe will frustrate you a little yeah. bit, but the positive outweighs the negative by far, you know. So, yes, if you're looking for a place to invest in Africa, I don't think that there is any place better and that will offer you peace of mind, stability, friendly people than Ghana. Crime rate also is very, very low. You know, it really is. You have lived in, in, in another part of Africa that is just on another level, you know. I've lived with such great, not great, but crazy security. In Ghana, it's not like that. And more so in Ibri. I think that's something I've got to mention. You know, crime here is zero. And I can attest to that. You know, yesterday I was speaking to my caretaker as he was taking me home. And we spoke about this, you know, and he said he, he's never heard of anything like that, you know. And being in this area that I am, I'm very well known to the locals. You know, I'm known to the two chiefs that are local, you know, local in the area. You know, nobody will step foot and disturb anything that is going on on my side. That will not happen, you know. So if you're wanting that sort of life where you can just have peace of mind, live and go out, leave your doors even open. I can tell you, nobody will pinch a thing from your property. That's true. That's they true. Don't. So... Well, I mean, they say God is the gateway to Africa, so I mean... It really yeah, is. for sure. It is. I think a lot of technological companies have been investing in Ghana. A lot of um, fruit companies abroad, I know, invest in Ghana. And then... Um, I know of an AI company that is starting off here in Ghana, you know, so there's a lot to offer. Business-wise, retirement-wise, I think if you're looking for Africa, Ghana is your place. So definitely something you recommend to our diaspora family that I mean, if you're looking to, you know, for a home anywhere in Africa, I mean, for sure. Ghana is some way you're going to recommend, right? Definitely. And the Belgian res residences, I'll recommend a thousand percent. <laughs> you know? I you would recommend. Honestly, sure. if you want a house that will stand the test of time, that won't give you cracks, we use solid um, blocks, cement blocks, quarry dust blocks. You know, they're not hollow blocks. So if you're looking for a property that will stand the test of time, give you value for money as the years go by and give you that sort of ambience that you're used to abroad, the quality of the bill, the spaciousness, things working, 24-7 security, then there's nothing better than here. Definitely, definitely. It has my stamp on it for sure. So, I mean, and because the assessor will buy me, we also just look for you know developers that are doing something that would you know speak to other people in the real estate market and people that are looking for second homes investment property i mean we're just trying to work with credible you know developers because i mean the real estate market and trying to buy a property can be a hassle sometimes so i mean once we get credible people like you that are hands-on in the project and you know meeting timelines it's always good to have you on board and to introduce you to the world out there for them to know what is going on and for people that are, you know, having a hard time not knowing what to do and not knowing what would be a perfect fit for them. It's, it's always good because, I mean, sometimes there are, you know, people that are looking, but, you know, obscurity can be your biggest challenge sometimes because, I mean, you can have a good product, right? People don't know about it. Yeah. You know, they, they cannot invest in it. So it's, it's good to have you on here and, you know, just to, showcase you to a family out there for them to definitely purchase okay. it. Sorry to cut you there, but I think that another thing to mention is trust. You know, why have I chosen to work with yourselves and you with me? You know, it's a reciprocal relationship. And you know, you, you hassled me for a long time <laughs> before I agreed to go ahead sure, with yourself because I don't really market, you know, with a lot of people. I don't. I'm very, I'm no snob. You've met me, I'm very down to earth, yeah. but I'm very picky with who I choose to work with. You know, trust is number one. 
And that's another thing with buying from us. What you see on paper is what you get. You're not going to come here and come and find that the measurements that you were given in your contract is not what you're getting, that the rooms are much smaller than what's actually sold to you, or that you've come and the outside is nothing like you expected, no. So the rendering on my website is exactly what you see on site now. I think you'll agree that I've done my best to match the two up. Exactly. Yes, because I, I don't want you to buy a property off plan, we only sell off plan, and then you turn up and it's totally different. Absolutely not. That to me is duping, and that's not going to happen. It's my name, and my name is of value. So trust is number one in any relationship, and I think I could you know, get that with working with yourselves. Mm -hmm. Hence, so global. That's true. I mean, even a, a good book says a good name is better than riches. So Definitely, sure. and I agree with that. Mm -hmm. The profit for me with the development comes secondary. For me, first and foremost is building a good quality house that a client will be happy with to an extremely high standard, which then has implications on my name. You know, it secures my name our name as family developers that will give you something that you'll be very proud of. So that's number one core value for us before we start thinking of making any money on the build. You know, and I've been known to come and remove doors and get rid of them. You walk around site now, you see six doors that I've condemned for this house only because I just wasn't happy with it. If I'm not happy with it, I'm not giving it to my client, absolutely not. You know, and that's money lost. Fine, my loss, but it's my name's value. That's good, that's good. That's, that's very comforting to hear because I mean, there are sometimes that people buy a house and it's not even up to a year and there are issues cropping up here and there. And, you know, they'll be now chasing the developer up and down. They're trying to review contracts here and there. I mean, it's always comforting to, you know, to speak or to get in touch, in touch with somebody that is you know, very hands-on and is looking to provide the best possible. It's, 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 it's good to know. I mean, it's been a very fruitful conversation with Larissa over here and I mean, she has gone into detail. I believe that she has literally, you know, covered everything about this project and it's something that we are looking to present to you and hoping to have each and everyone around the world that sees this on board. So, uh, Larissa, any last words? I think I want to just reiterate the standard of the build, the high standard. And it is extremely high. And people who work with me are, are getting up to scratch with my high expectations. And they are very high. You know, even the color of the screws. You know, if my wall is white, then my screw heads need to be one right. light. You know, it all needs to blend in seamlessly. So high quality all round, keen eye on everything, perfect environment, good quality living, everything organic around you, great security, not a hassle in the world living in Ghana, peaceful country, why wouldn't we want to be here? Asking again. Honestly, yes. why wouldn't you? You have the sun, and we know, you know, when you're abroad on a gloomy day, you feel so miserable. The minute the sun comes out, you should see how people change. You know, we have the sun here all the time. So, why wouldn't you want to be in Ghana? You know, anyway, I know I want to be in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So it's, it's been a lovely conversation. Thank you, Larissa, for your time. And thank you for doing the Lord's work. That's how I put it. Because I mean, what you're doing here, the, the work you're doing here and what you're looking to offer clients really is the Lord's work. Because I mean, a home is can be the biggest investment somebody would, would, would make in their life. So, I mean, if you're providing such quality, we'll have to thank you. We'll have to you know, push it out there. Another thing I forgot to mention is the high floor to ceiling. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> They're very, very high. 
much sure more than standard. <laughs> I know. Well, you only need the next house. I mean, the areas there that are 5.5 meters high. Wow. And it would be a shame to lower the ceiling for the client because you imagine that height, the dramatic effect you can have in some rooms. And again, this is the way I am. You know, I'm not even thinking about the cost for me to tile the bathrooms because that's extra tiles. I'm actually thinking of the beauty of the house, you know, how I can really get that to be exposed at the detriment of my pocket for the clients to be happy. That means more to me than saving, you know, some money here and there. You know, having 5.5 meters high ceilings, I mean, the drop chandeliers you can have, and then when you walk in there, it's just wow. And that's what I want. I want that when they have visitors coming to see them, they're like, wow, what a property. You know, I had a drone come to do some work, and the guys who were doing that project actually said they had to take the drone beyond the building to show the surrounding areas. Otherwise, people wouldn't believe that this property actually existed <laughs> in Ghana because it really looks like a villa in Spain, in Italy. You know, that's the vibe. That's it's true. clean, it's airy, the white paint makes it look so open. You know, the way the rooms flow, I had a comment on that as well, you know, the way one area flows into another, it's all very carefully thought about. You know, the way the house is turned to position on the land, again, makes sure that you have maximum views, you know, and good impact of the way it sits on the land. You know, because we have to thank the land for giving us, you know, all the contours as well. It makes for an interesting development. Yeah. Our ceilings are not flat ceilings. You've noticed you have some flat, but you've got some sloping. Yes. Yeah, and I was asked, you know, if I wanted them flat, and I said no. You know, let's use the roof lines. Play with the roof lines to give a bit of interest. You know, a little bit of dimension here and there. It all adds to an interesting build. You know, and then it's not boring. You know, I don't want boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty sure nobody does. So <laughs> thank you for that. So I, I think, you know, on a last note, thank you to Cecil Global. You've been fantastic. And you are Berku in particular. You've worked very close with me, yeah. you know, and um, you've, you've been very patient with me because I'm somebody that wants something that should be done today, done yesterday. <laughs> so sorry, sorry about that, you know, and I think I need to work on that patience. And I'm learning that in Ghana, that I need to take a step back, I need to breathe, and I need to be here with an abundance of patience, you know. <laughs> so thank you for that, you know, for the video, for the gentleman that has come, you know, the time you've spent, the money you've spent to put this together, you know, thank you very much. And for your professionalism, you know, you're a great outfit to work with. And all of those that I've engaged with have been very professional. So I am grateful, you know, to you and your team. And I do hope we continue to grow, you know, and... Um, and we get some sales in because at the end of the day, sure. that's what we want. That's the end goal. That's the end goal. <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. It's good having you, Larissa. So, I mean, uh, any inquiries or anybody that's interested could just reach us, Cecil Global, directly, and we'll be more than happy to have you purchase your dream home in the Belton residence.